Hello everyone, this is my first video and my name is The Vexinator. Um, today I'm going to be playing Unturned, single player Unturned, and I'm going to be making a big house, like a pretty big house, and I'm going to have some fun, make a big house, um, spawn some stuff in, show you how to spawn stuff in, and to make a gigantic base. So let's get on with it. Okay, I've spawned in. New map that I've downloaded recently. Lots of trees to cut them down, maybe. Press M, opens up the map so I can see everywhere. Inventory, I'm a naked. Oh, I guess I should spawn some stuff in. So how you do this is you press enter, then you press add, give space your name so if your names oh I said that wrong if your names two words then just put the space in between them so at give the vaccinator slash the item ID which unturned um you can go on a website you can find them all I'll put that in the description so you can find the ID and I'm just gonna spawn in a gun and then if you, you you don't always have to do this if it's just if you want one of that item you just leave it like that but if you want any more than one you do another slash how much you want so just so I could have 50 of them although I don't want them though so just leave it like that spawn it in and then look I have myself a gun just gonna shoot it yep I have myself a gun no more ammo. Now I'm going to spawn myself in a backpack. A backpack. Two, five, three. Oh, oh. See, I did it wrong there. Oh, my friend playing. Um, two, five, three. There. Now, I have an Alice backpack. It is the biggest backpack you can get in the game. As you can see now, I've got it on. My little unturned soldier. Now, because I can, I'm just going to spawn in some ammo. Um... And also, it's a lot easier if you're going to spawn in lots of things. It's good if you just copy copy it, so then you can just paste it in. So I'm going to make a massive magazine. So you hold T, you open it up, get this. I've got 100 bullets now. And I've got my other magazine there. You press just R to reload. And then there. That's it, fully auto. Ah, now I'm going to spawn myself in, yep, see, copy and paste it there, I'm going to spawn myself in a scope. Now you hold T, press on the scope, and now you can see it. See, look, you can see the other side of the map, look at how far away that is. You can get bigger scopes, but I'm not going to. You see, you got your iron sights there. If you chuck them away, just say I chuck that away. They'll drop on the ground, but you won't be able to put them together. See, you can't put the iron sights back on. See, it'll just look like that, look like nothing. But if you pick them back up, hold T, you can put them back on. See, you can put them back on now. But I'm just going to leave that on. And now what I'm going to do, map, where am I? I'm near the O'Leary military base, which is good, so I can make frequent runs there. Just going to scout it out. Also, you can spawn in experience, zombies, vehicles, practically everything in the game you can spawn in. And there's a lot of things in the game. You can even spawn in, you can't spawn in trees, but you can spawn in logs, sticks, whatnot. 
just gonna scout out where I am. This map's a very hilly map and lots of water. As you can see, there's more water over there. And also you can teleport. Oh, there's the base. There's a military base. See, I'm near the military base, but I'm going to go back down here. I'm go. So what my plan is, oh, I'm going to find somewhere where I can put my car. See, I'm going to do it where I can drive it past. So if I can drive through there... And yeah, gonna place it there. Gonna go this way. Um. Also, if you get too close, see right now you can't currently see it. You, oh, you may. I don't know if you can get in that helicopter. You probably can. If you get too close, you'll see the zombies and they will attack you. See what I'm gonna do is the plan is get a car so then I can drive through there and out onto my base. So I'm going to make my base out here, and Unturned has some pretty good graphics, shows shows the ripples of the water. It's good when you first spawn in, to spawn in a bit of ammo, a gun, so you can protect yourself. So I'm going to start building my base, going to make it, the plan is to make a line of it out there and then have my base out there and some towers to watch over it, mountains as cover. So I'm going to spawn in my foundations to start it off, 31. See, I don't want one of them. I'm just going to say, I don't know. I'm going to spawn in 20 of them. See? Um, inventory. See, I have 20 of them. And, <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll drop on the floor if you don't really need them gonna place it here um you might think oh look i can't place it in the water when you start swimming can't place it in the water but to make a water base you just grab them you put one on the land and then you press it like this go out again press it out go out again go out again go out again I'm planning to make a fairly big base. Um, also, zombies can br zombies can break through walls, so it's good to have some barbed wire next to them, so zombies can't break through, because they'll just die. See, I reckon that's pretty far out if I build my base here. So I'm gonna place them around here. I think I'm gonna make my base five foundations by five foundations, make it a big one. Here's my logs back. Just collect them up. Get them back. Also, I'm going to make it long wider so that I can um so I can make drive cars along here and protect them. So I think that's big enough. So five by five. See that's five there. So that's five by five. See, as it's pretty big. Now, I'm going to spawn in my stuff again. Some more foundations, because 20 of them, because I will use them. Yep. And it's pretty easy to build on the water, because as you can see, you can't really stuff it up. But on land you can, which is annoying. See, you could on land you could be able to place a foundation in the middle and it would be annoying to do that and have to fix it and whatnot. See, pick up the remaining of these. I think that should be enough for the base. Now See that as you can see that is a gigantic house and I'm going to make it one more bigger here here for the purposes of having a garage and putting cars there and the future plan is to make a massive city here put some cars in 